What's up guys and girls, this is your boy The Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to the Epi Banger video. And today guys and girls, I'm going to tell you all about what I think is the best BFS reel you can get right now. And I guarantee you, you have not looked into it. All right, guys and girls, uh, if you guys have heard the intro and seen the title of this video, I'm going to tell you about what I what I think of this reel that makes it the best you can get right now. Now, there's a lot of factors that go into this. Uh, one, it's personal opinion, personal experience, I will say. I'm gonna make sure my camera's in focus before we have to refilm a few times. But I'm gonna tell you that this this is probably one of the most well-known BFS reels right now, but it's because it's not talked about and usually recommended right now, currently, that people haven't got it yet. Uh, I, this was a very popular reel when it came out. Um, it really changed the BFS game for the good. And I will say that this reel, this is probably be a dead giveaway for this reel. Uh, this reel was the first reel that was said to cast one gram right out of the box. Now, with me saying that, it means one gram, like as in like less than a 30 second of an ounce out of the box. This reel was really kind of game changing in the terms of what it did for the BFS world. I have no relation to the company that makes this reel. I have no relation to anybody that sells this reel. So I'm telling you this out of personal experience, personal opinion, and what I think you should be buying if you're really looking for a great deal on a very high quality reel that you're not gonna have to worry about crapping out on you later on because this reel is still made. Even though this reel is actually three years old uh, in terms of releases, it's still probably one of the best options you can get in my opinion. Now today's video is gonna be very short. It's gonna be very to the point. It's gonna probably be around five to six minutes, maybe even a little bit longer than that. If, uh, if it's longer than that, Fusion Hunter, Shame on you. Shame on you. Point is, uh, without further ado, let me tell you what the reel is. This is the Daiwa Alphys Air TW. If you guys have been around on the channel for some time, this is the very first like high quality BFS reel I ever got. Uh, it was one of the most fantastic reels that I ever invested in. I got it when I was in college, so I was broke. To me, buying this reel was expensive. It was, uh, at the time I bought it, it was around 300 or so dollars. Uh, so it was a little higher priced, but that's because of the Japanese yen conversion rate. It was kind of a tough buy to make. Uh, but with now yen being down, you have a lot of lower prices everywhere. That uh, includes even shops in the States are selling it for lower prices. Overall, this reel was able to cast one gram out of the box, no problem. Keep in mind, you have to make sure that you're actually pairing it with a rod that can cast that low. This reel was designed with bass guys, trout guys, all of that in mind. And essentially, it was meant for anybody who was gonna be casting super ultra light. I mean, you have things like the air system. It was a fantastic braking system that was dynamic. Uh, so essentially, the, the more it needed the braking, it would put more braking on it for you, essentially within a dynamic range that changed and lowered with the amount of braking it needed. So that was really game changing in the terms of the fact that it allowed you to get the most distance you could out of a one gram lure within reason. If you're somebody who's a trout fisherman, this is a great reel for you because you can you don't have to worry about, you know, you know, backlash, not backlash, but wind knots when you're fishing in trout streams. Or if you're somebody who's a finesse bass fisherman, you could fish with fluorocarbon and you don't have to worry about line twists and things like that ruining your day. So that was what really what really set the Alphys Air forward and it was also one of the reels that really brought BFS really into something serious because it was one of the very first reels that really changed everything next to the Aldebaran in 2016. If you guys noticed, I had some adjustments made to my reel. So one thing with BFS, in my opinion, BFS is all about customization, making it to what you want. So BFS isn't limited to bass. It's not limited to panfish, not limited to trout, but BFS can be whatever you want it to be, saltwater even. So I've actually got handles on here, wooden handles from Roro. I've also got a Roro AX22 spool on there. So essentially it's a lighter spool meant for casting lighter lures. If you guys noticed, I had it paired with the Jenko Double Down BFS rod, and the Jenko Double Down BFS rod is a crappy specific BFS rod with a lot of backbone, but it's still able to cast extremely light. That rod's rated from 1 80th to 1 amp, an eighth of an ounce. On there, I actually had the higher end of there. I had a three and a half gram popper from uh, Euro Tackle on there. So overall, I really love the reel, especially after customizing it. I think it's one of the best reels you can get out there. Uh, I actually paired it with some Varivas Trout Advanced Area, I think it's called. I don't remember exactly but the point is is that after putting in a new spool and putting on new handles and even upgrading the bearings it is a fantastic reel especially for casting even down like below a gram i'm not kidding when i say that i've casted the mule the mule fishing 180th ounce uh, uh jig heads no problem at all on that reel i've casted trout magnets super far with that reel but overall i've been really happy with that reel so if you guys are looking for a reel that's a good price right now i think the alpha Air is going to be a great option for you guys uh, with essentially reels like the Corrado bfs being in the united states being 190 dollars i personally do not recommend the Corrado. 
DFS. There's so many better options right now in the industry that I'm going to tell you either save up for, shell out money for, or just go budget. I mean, there's budget options that are fantastic, but what I'm going to tell you is specifically going for this reel, there's a couple of different places that I've noticed that great prices are at. So number one is a US shop. We have Bait Finesse Empire. They have it, I believe, for like 320 something right now. Great, fantastic option if you're wanting to get it in the US, support a US company, and while still getting the products that you want. If you're gonna go check it out at Bait Finesse Empire, there's a lot of different options there. That for tackle, rods, you can get the whole package there at Bait Finesse Empire, and that makes it a lot easier for you. Now, my second place I'm gonna recommend is Digitaka. Digitaka is essentially where I go to get all my JDM reels. I honestly don't get anything else from there because if you get the reels from there, it's a great price. If you get anything else, you're not really getting a fan fantastic price uh, simply because it's it's offset for reels. I don't know how to explain it, but if you guys want to save some money over there, I do know of a code H2G. Last time I checked, it's still active until the end of June. Uh, that'll save you 500 yen on anything you purchase from Digitaka. So this reel is also available there. I don't know how much for because we still have to count import fees and that depends on your country you're in. Definitely check out that reel at Digitaka if you want. And number three, where I'm also gonna recommend is Amazon. Amazon is, obviously you know what Amazon is, but I believe the last time I checked, they had it for like 230, 240. I don't know if there's import fees with them. There most likely is. So you're gonna be looking at around 260 to 270, maybe even higher, depending on where you're looking at in terms of country you're getting it shipped to. Cause I know a lot of non-American viewers are watching this as well. If you're looking to get this reel, those three places, I'm gonna say Bait Finesse Empire from the US. Uh, if you're anywhere else in the world, Digitaka and Amazon. So if you get it from Bait Finesse Empire, you're probably getting a full package and a better deal. Besides that, I can't really think about anything else I got to say about the reel, but overall, I've loved the reel the time I've had it. I've done crappy fishing with it. I've done saltwater fishing with it. I've done absolutely everything. If you've been around on the channel, you know anything and everything about this reel. So uh, without further ado, I think that's all for today's video, guys. It's be a short video, but that's because I want to try some more short form content and see how you guys like it because I'm getting more views right now, which thank you for that, guys. God bless. And if you guys really want to drop me a subscription, I would really appreciate it. It helps me out and also helps me bring more content to you guys about BFS stuff. So I have a ton of BFS stuff. If you guys want to hear more about it, let me know down in the comment section below. If you have any questions about the reel, let me know down in the comment section below. And without further ado, if you guys want to check out any of the brands that support me and I support them, links down in the description. And without further ado again i believe that's the end of the video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe with the bell notification on so you know every time i upload and uh, as always guys remember fish fairy.